He broke my heart before I could. Now I don't even know what that means. Listen, listen. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little girl. All that girl said was you be busy. I'm taking all my wheel in the morning. I'm taking all my in the morning. You call my daughter. Thirteen, and you talk like I'm sixteen. Listen to uh, the whole point was about him not being a father, no. but y'all want to pick out the list of the list of <laughs> never been there for me mentally. Anytime I felt happiness from this man, it was temporary, very temporary. Bumped it down real quick. I can say a lot. I'm really limiting my talking. I can say a lot. Tell him why you really left him up there. Oh that. yeah! I first of all, I talked to him. I'm, I'm like, I'm moving. I've been telling him I'm moving to Houston. Been, been, been telling him. So boom, at the time I had my car I was doing the transportation. My um, I had to drive. I had to drive up here with my mama. Cause I had and cause she had a bad car accident. Like what's like what's that? What's that hard to understand? Like I was really in a wheelchair. And then on top of that. We got into it like we got into it like at least two to three days, at least two to three days before. You know, he told me and my mama. No, no, he said yes, he did. And my mama. But when we really got started getting into it, when he was like, I don't give a, I don't give a fuck about your mama being in no car wreck. Woo the woo, cause I want to go home and help my mama. And who I went home? What y'all want me to do? Be a yes man? Oh yes sir, yes sir. I want to go home and help my mom who almost died in a car wreck. Who was deaf for me when you was locked up in that cola? It's a Lord's over anything with me. I swear to God. Lord's over. I'm trying to see if it's so done. Why I keep talking about it? You still, man.